What's up everyone? Today I'm coming from the rooftop of my building with a new pair of boots in this beat up box here. It wouldn't look like it, but it is probably my second holy grail. Yes, my second holy grail pair of red wing boots. Um, the story behind these, that's actually a really nice story that I can't go into too much detail, but the story behind these, I got a phone call from Red Wing asking uh, what I was doing, if I can uh, possibly swing by, and uh, I did. And um, they gifted me these. <laughs> and um, I am very thrilled to add these to the collection. Now, let's get into what's in these. In here is the 4509, let's pop these open, 4509 Harvesters in Oxblood. Yes, these beauties are rare indeed. Stunning, I know. And, uh, when, you, when we go into the close detail, you'll see uh, that they do need a little TLC, but uh, having never been worn, oh, these are gorgeous, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's take a closer look at the 4509 Harvester in the Mesa Ox Blood Leather. Okay, so here is a closer look at the Red Wing 4509 Harvester. Now you have the Mesa Oxblood leather, which is very supple and very nice and one of my favorites. Goodyear welt on this bad boy and uh, triple stitch in the Oxblood. Yes! It was a good thing that I was wearing um, a uh, bandana uh, over my face. Otherwise you're to see this big cheesy grin about having these and adding these to the collection. <laughs> so excited. All right, uh, this is on the last eight. Uh, if those of you who have the Harvester, uh, you know that it's the same size as the Iron Ranger, the Beckman, and the Blacksmith, basically a higher Blacksmith. We have uh, the Vibram uh, Mini Lug Soul, which is interesting. This has the um, yellow uh, logo on here. Normally it's just black if you um, have a Blacksmith or an Iron Ranger. Um, with this new um, lug sole that they put on there. Uh, the Vibram is usually black, so it's interesting that they have this one in the yellow. Um, we have uh, brass hardware, uh, five eyelets and then uh, four speed hooks. And as you can see, I'll do a close-up of you for you. Um, there's some corrosion on the hardware because these boots um, were in, uh, just sitting in someone's box um, in someone's closet and uh, not being used so the, I'm gonna go through and um, clean off the hardware and condition these because um, these have never been worn and uh, yeah I'm gonna make sure that they look proper. So the 4509 was a European release like the um, black harness and the amber harness um, but these were just rare. I didn't know too much about these. I knew about the black harness and the amber harness, but these I kind of only heard about, and I saw maybe a few times them um, doing a little Google image search, but I've never seen these actually in person. Um, so that's why I was like, I need to get my hands on these. So when they came around, I was like, yes, I definitely want these. Um, you have the external heel counter, the black piping on the, uh, the top of the boot. And for me, you guys know how I feel about the uh, Vibram Mini Lug. If anything, I would do either a black cork sole or maybe a black Kimmy gum sole. Um, I don't know if I would go Rocher or not, but I do like the idea of doing a cork sole on these. Since I have the Rocher on the black harness. The amber harness, I have not shown you guys what I've done to those. Uh, those are quite special. <laughs> I will reveal those um, shortly. Um, but those, I went a different route and i um, excited to reveal those all to you. Let's look at the inside of the other boot. 
So on the inside of this boot, uh, here's the inside of that Mesa Oxblood leather. Uh, we have the leather insole. These are canvas lined, they are not leather lined. And the interesting thing about these, okay, so these were made uh, February 2014. That's when the production date on these. But what's interesting about this is that it has the style number 2943 which is actually the amber harness and then there's an x next to it so which makes these even so these were rare but having this style number with an x next to it takes it to a whole nother level of being rare and then i collect our item <laughs> um but yeah these i am beyond thrilled that uh, I have these. You have no idea. Um, the one thing that I do like about the Mesa Oxblood leather is how versatile uh, this leather is. Let me, let me just make sure we're in focus. We're in focus here. While I'm yapping away, I make sure we're in focus. I'm like, um, well, what I was saying is that uh, what I like about the Amber what I was saying was what I like about the Mesa Oxblood leather is how versatile it is. You can wear it with black, you can wear it with brown. Um, it looks good with green. It's just a very, just top, top, top leather. And um, yeah, I can't wait to start styling these. I'm gonna condition them first, clean them up like I said, because um, being made in uh, 2014 and uh, Pretty much being in a box or on someone's shelf could put some mink oil on them and uh, hit the city yeah baby i may change the laces too i may put some flat laces in there or something i'm not sure but um one step at a time one step at a time just very excited about it you guys know look at that what else can i say about these Oh, you know what? I forgot. These were actually on Nordstrom Rack some time ago for $62. Can you believe that? $62 for a pair of Oxblood harvesters. That's ridiculous. Even if they're seconds. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. Think about that for a second. All right, let's do the on feet. Okay, so this is the first time that I have put on these boots um, since I've had them. And full disclosure, I've had them since, since May. Uh, it is now Ju what are we in, J late July. Um, so I, I couldn't review them yet. I had to hold off uh, and wait to uh, do a review on them and show them. But uh, um, they feel really good and no, the other two harvesters that I do own, I um, resold them. Um, I put the Rocha on the black pair and then the, the brown pair I haven't shown yet. Um, and then this, I don't think I'm gonna resold these actually. This has the uh, Vibro Mini Lug and uh, it's very soft and feels very comfortable, but I don't think that I will uh, resold these. And I am wearing um, Japanese salvage uh, chinos uh, that I picked up at um, blue and green in Soho and it's uh, uh, Ogul I believe is how you pronounce it uh, French um, French word um, they are uh, definitely a wider fit um, and I have a nice cuff just to show off that 8 inch Mesa Oxblood which uh, it looks really good having an 8 inch harvester in Mesa Oxblood is just ridiculous um, so these sat for quite some time and you can tell because the hardware, uh, the brass hardware uh, is starting to, has the um, uh, oxidized uh, green around it. So I'm gonna have to clean that off. Um, you, I, I heard you can clean it off with Coca-Cola. Um, the guy at Red Wing, uh, one of the reps at Red Wing told me um, about that. Uh, but what I did is I just took like a, a pin, a sewing, basically a sewing needle and just dug around it very carefully not to scratch uh, the leather at all. And I was able to clean off the uh, corrosion around the hardware. 
Um, and then also I'm going to apply mink oil to these because uh, these have just been sitting for a um, very, very long time, never worn whatsoever. Um, and so I will apply mink oil and once I, um, after I clean, clean off the corroded hardware. But uh, yeah, these uh, are definitely a grail and um, man you have no idea these are just comfy like i love an eight inch boot like how passing the ankle how it feels um just that security that you have all all the way up your uh, your ankle is just fantastic so um very excited to add these to the collection com completing the harvesters all three harvesters that are that Red Wing made and why they discontinued, I do not know, it doesn't make any sense. But um, what a gift and I am uh, beyond, beyond grateful to have these. Uh, and, uh, and I know that I have seen uh, some images of, uh, of these uh, boots once they're broken in and worn in and they look just really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, I'm a huge fan of the Harvester ever since I picked up the first pair and uh, was very um, obsessed basically with trying to get all of the Harvesters that were made. And um, yeah, I, what can I say? Uh, it's just, uh, actually, let me see the bottom. This bottom, someone had um, mentioned to me, they asked me about the yellow Vibram mini lug on the bottom, uh, why that was. And uh, I said, some of the boots that I've seen do have that, that yellow uh, logo and some don't. Uh, some have, I think, maybe they put Red Wing down there and uh, some leave the Vibram. I know with the women's line with the Vibram, they have like a white, um, they paint something white on the one of the um, lugs. Um, so I've seen that as well. So it wasn't something that someone was kind of like, hey, what is that, what's going on? Um, that I have seen that in in a few uh, Red Wing boots on a few Red Wing boots, but um, yeah, guys, this is uh, some good stuff right here. I kind of don't want to walk off camera so you guys can get as much as you can. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that is the Red Wing 4509 Harvester in the Mesa Oxblood Leather. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, be a boot. See you guys next time.